Today we're going to complete lesson 4 RGB LED from the Elego Mega 2560 tutorial. For this lesson we're going to need 4 M to M wires, a RGB LED, 3 220 ohm resistors, a breadboard, and the Mega 2560 board. Let's take a look at the lesson plan before getting started. The lesson plan objective is to light up a RGB LED. The lesson plan runs through the RGB LED we'll be using. First, it goes over that this LED may look similar to any regular LED, but the difference is that it contains three LEDs inside. One red, one green, and one blue. By controlling the brightness of each, you can manipulate and mix pretty much any color you want. The RGB LED has four leads. There is one lead going to the positive connection of each of the single LEDs within the package and a single lead that is connected to all three negative sides of the LED. <clears throat> and that negative side is the cathode. They also go over PWM, which is short for pulse width modulation. Basically, PWM will produce a pulse. Depending on how you control it, the pulse can last till the next sequence, or you can simply not create any pulse at all. This all depends on how you change the analog write function. That's right here. Let's quickly go over the wiring diagram. So we have the D3 PWM, the D5 PWM, and the D6 PWM connected to each 220 ohm resistor, which is connected to each LED pin on the RGB LED. We then have ground connected to the cathode. Let's quickly go over the code as well. The sketch starts by specifying which pins are going to be used for each of the colors. So they decided to define blue as three, green as five, and red as six. I decided to code mine a little differently. I decided to define blue as five, green as six, and red as seven. Just because I wanted the wires closer together, and I was curious to see if it still worked, if I fucked with it a little. The void setup makes the red, green, and blue LEDs outputs, so they can be controlled. The digital right below that makes the red LED power on first, and then this entire loop changes colors every 10 seconds and brings the next color to full brightness until the next 10 seconds pass and so on and so forth okay now for the fun part let's build it